Hello, uh, it's Jill here and welcome to my craft. Today I'm going to be making a card using this stamp here. It's from Crafty Individuals. It's CI289 and it's the little chickens and I thought I'd make quite a nice man's card. Um, and then I'm also going to be using words from the little wiry words create from creative stamps. And I've also got another, um, this is a grey rubber, red rubber stamp, sorry. Um, this is a six by six and I'm going to use that for my background and I've mounted that onto my cuttle bug plate because I don't have a block that's big enough so um, it does the job if you haven't got a, a, anything big enough to put your stamps on to try something like that you don't need great big blocks all the time so to start with I'm working on a card here which is I think it's five by seven let's have a look yep it's a five by seven so it's just going to open that way and I'm going to mount some blue card onto it like this and then I'm going to put some white card on the top with this stamp here so let's start some card there I'll just get a piece of paper to stamp on too I use a just a stack of white paper here just so it's got a bit of give let's put that way and I'm, I don't want anything too dark with this, so I'm coming in with some hickory smoke distress ink. Just going to tap that gently all over. It doesn't need to be um, a really, really crisp image of this because the main focal point is obviously going to be the little chickens. Make sure I've got plenty on there. Turn that over. Put that down like so. So obviously the card is a five by seven and this is a six by six. So I've got a bit of a um, work to do to just add a little bit more onto the end here. Just to make sure we've got enough background. And there we go. So that's come out lovely there. I'm just going to stamp a little bit more across the bottom here. Just ink up that top portion of the stamp. Turn that over and just pop that down there then. There we go. So that's done. So let's just trim that down then to fit onto here so that's going to be 170 by 120 let's trim this off to start with now obviously I've got this line across here so I'm actually going to cut that like so a little bit off here and just to make sure that fits on there it's about there if I put stack one on top of the other and make sure we get the right sort of roundabout measurements <laughs> it doesn't have to be exact let's check that goes onto there all right yeah I could probably take a little bit more off of one of these let's just come off of there Lovely. Brilliant. Let's pop that away. Get rid of all my rubbish. And just stand for bits there. So to edge this card, I'm going to use some speckled egg distress ink. Lovely colour this. There's my little dabber. I wanted to keep this card nice, light colours, sort of what I class as relaxing colours. It's nice and light. What have I got going on there? Got a bit of rubbish underneath. Come in with this one here. Let's 
So it just takes away that stark whiteness of that card. So there's that. And then my blue card, I'm just going to come in with a little bit of black soot to edge around that. Okay, let's that one down there. Right, before I do much more, I'm just going to take this ink off. Go use my little scrubby. There we go. So I'm just going to mount that onto there, like so. And here's one that I've done earlier. Save you waiting around. So that's the base layer. Now with the sentiment, I stamped that onto a piece of white card and I've cut that, have I cut that to fit? No, I just need to take a little bit off of that. Let's have a look, come in again. And that is obviously going to cover where we've got the line across here. Yep, fabulous. There. Put that card to one side for the moment. Um, I'm going to come back into that in a moment after I've stamped the main image because I'm actually going to colour that up the same as the uh, background that's going to go on our little chickens. And my little stamp, I've got a teensy tiny little stamping platform here. Little cheap thing I got in China. And I'm just using some 300 GSM white card. Just going to stick down onto there because it's got quite a lot of fine detail. This stamp it may have to go in a couple of times with it. So let's just put that right there and stick that down there. Pick that up, and for this one, I'm going to come in with some archival. A cheap little AliExpress stamping platform. This one, four or five pounds. Yeah, I think I'll just go back in again with that. That's better. There we go. Let's put that to one side. Put my lid on my ink pads. Don't want them drying out. Right then, to colour this in. Oh, sorry, not you. I'm just going to come back to my little stack of paper just so I've got a little bit of wiggle room. That's it, that'll do. <laughs> and I'm using my Spectrum Noirs. And this set is the Essentials. Just pop that there. So let's have a look what we're going to do here then. Going to start by colouring my little chickens in brown, I think. Let's get to choose some shades of brown, a little bit of red, and some oranges, I think. So this card is all about the topper, it's all about the colouring, um, so let's make a start with that. Let's come in with this little colour here. So with these pencils you just need to come in very very lightly to start with and I'm just going to go all over. With the lightest, uh, not quite the lightest orange, this is what, number 20. And we're just going to layer them up until we get a nice depth of colour. And the feathers. Just 
I've got a little bit of colour going on there. Right, let's come in with a slightly darker brown. Just leaving this centre bit in that slightly lighter orange. So that I've got some highlights there. Very therapeutic colouring. <laughs> it is for me anyway. <laughs> Right, let's come back in with the orange again. Add a bit more depth of colour. Again, lightly over the top. And you, these pencils will blend um, just by using the pencils on their own. Um, or you can use, like I do, I use some of the Spectrum Noir blending solution and a paper stump. What have I done with my paper stump? <laughs> my paper stump is over here. Let's have a go at that. And I'll just pop it into a little, little container there with a sponge. So I can just pick up a little bit of the blending solution there. Just get a few little circles round. It blends it in quite nicely then. Clean it off a bit. Right, pencils again. As you can see, that's layering up the colour quite nicely. And there's quite nice sort of shading guidelines on this little stamp. So obviously where you've got these little lines, you can put more colour down and, and leave some of these open areas a bit lighter. You'll probably take a little bit more time than I am. I'm just trying to scoot through to show you. Right, let me come in with something a little bit darker. This is number 95. And this is like a red-brown colour. And again, I'm just picking out some of the slightly darker areas now. So that little chicken starting to take shape. Into his wings. Let's put a little bit of this down on the feathers there. As you can see, I'm not being overly particular because there's so much detail in the stamp. Right, let's get a little bit more paper stump. Maybe a little tiny drop of red. We just got that lovely orangey, browny, reddish chicken colour. <laughs> just play around until you get what you like, really. And then the little cocks comb there, red. And his beak, I think we'll have that in our red as well. And Mrs. Hen. Perhaps a little bit of red on the feathers. So 
so it, it takes a little bit of time just to get the colouring done and you can colour this with anything you like with uh, watercolours etc I think it looked quite nice with these pencils right let's come in with my to do my little eggs little eggs let's go with a number four so that's quite a nice light color just as the base coat number 15 more yellowy yeah I think probably that other one's a bit too light but that's what I like about pencils you can just lay them up change the colors as you go um, so it's a bit of something a bit darker around the edge maybe back to this one here 91 paper stump and then just for this final layer I'm not going to um, blend any of this I'm just going to leave it as it is straight in with the pencil perhaps a little bit of brown on top of that So, got our little chicken, so that's lovely. Um, I wanted to just make this background a bit lighter, actually, so I'm going to put some colour wash onto it. And I'm going to use brushos for that. And I've mixed some up, some turquoise. I'll just pour it out of the way a moment. i will just start playing down here. And this is where this little bit comes in as well, because I'm going to colour that the same. It's quite dark, that. Um, I'm just going to check that on a piece of scrap. It's quite dark. Let me just pop a little bit more water in from my water pot. Just to take that colour down a bit. Now, this isn't a watercolour paper card. Um, but if we just put a tiny little bit on. It will take it. And you can see that just pops your little chickens forward. It just adds a bit more interest into that main focal image there. Just a bit more around there, perhaps. And then the same again for the little banner. There we go. So brushes are great for this. You can either mix just a few little grains on your sheet or um, mix it up like I do in a little pot. These little pots, incidentally, they're just little jam pots. And you can buy these um, in places like um, Home Bargains, I think I've got mine, 25p. And you get the jam and you get the pot. Brilliant. Keep all my brushes in those. Um, just a quick heat up just to make sure that's all dry lovely right so we're now going to come in with my black spectrum Spectrum Noir and this is number 120 and I'm just going to edge this a bit a bit more definition nothing too precious just a bit of really rough finishing off now this little bit here I'm going to sort of do the same around the edge on this one so just going to come in with a pencil, straight line across there, all the way around the edge. 
and again just ties it all in with the main image we've got here so let's just do a few more lines around with that one Right, so I'm just going to try and do a few little bits around the edge here, which matching with this here. I'm just going to do a few little dots here and there, and one in the corner. So it just finishes off that quite nicely. Trim this down. Leave the tiniest little white edge around this, I think. Like so. So here's my two pieces ready now. I'm just going to come in again with some Distress ink around the edge of this one in the speckled egg. And where is my little thingy gone? There it is. Let's check that's on there, okay. There we are. Let's bring our card in again now. It's our base layer. The little chicken's going to go there. And then this one's going to go across there, like so. That looks nice, looks lovely, but it's just a little bit unfinished. So I'm going to die cut some ivy, or I have cut up, die cut some ivy, some white ivy. And I've used the Sil Sue Wilson creative expressions the training ivy lovely this one and i'm just going to color that up again using some distress inks and i've got evergreen bow and rustic wilderness on this one so let's just um bring that in this little piece here it's two pieces out this little piece i've already done so that's what we're going to look for when we do this so just need to dab this on slightly you can't drag because it's quite a delicate little dye and you'll just tear the leaves off so there we are nothing too too precious just a bit random and then i'm coming in with some little bit on the edges with some evergreen bow Oh, uh, not evergreen bow, no. Rustic wilderness, there we are. What am I thinking? Done the evergreen bow. I wanted to keep the colours sort of fairly similar to this so that it, it all blended in. I didn't want anything too dark. just wanted to keep that look of, of pale serenity almost. And there we are. That's all you do with those. Job done. Let's put that away then. I'm just going to mount all this up. Um, first off, let me have a look where I'm going to put all this. Just let them go nice there. Perhaps there. Uh, yeah, I think that's great. Okay then, so let's just um, get some tape on that. And my little bit of wet glue as well. As you know, I like to keep mine stored in my little craft box for when I need them. And I don't want them to dry out. So, let's go with that, I think. That's about right. Makes a great card for a man, or a lady, farmer anybody you like change your sentiment up for whatever occasion you want to use it for it needs to go that way a bit and then for the ivy what do we decide so then yep
I'm just going to take some of that off the back, onto the back of my hand. Let's just take that off of the wording. There we go. And the same for this one. Also, you can do whatever colour way you like. I've done this little little stamp before in reds, and that looks really nice. It pops. It's just a, an unusual stamp. And it's a fabulous crafty individual's creation. There we go. Let's pop that one onto there. So, there we have it. I hope that has given you some inspiration on how to use this stamp. Um, if you like what I do, please subscribe. Happy crafting, everyone, and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.